Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now. So this tarot card reading is going to be focused on soulmate energy. It could be involved in a twin flame energy as well. It doesn't really matter. But this is based on people that you are currently involved with or perhaps, you know, may have broken up with or something may have happened in that sort of situation. So I'm going to be looking and focusing on those energies. Okay, so what I see from the cards is a situation that is involving a lot of contemplation and deep thought. I feel like in this situation, you could be dealing with a person that you can't stop thinking about. You could be dealing with a person that you're willing to sacrifice a lot for. These two particular cards in a combination are indicating to me a desire to find a solution, a desire to be as rational and logical as possible, to find a way out of a difficult situation. So I feel like you're trying to be as calm as possible in a situation that has had, you know, a level of suffering. And it could have been unbearable, it could have been stressful, it could have been difficult to deal with, okay? Now, these two cards are showing to me that there's a lot of things going on here. There's a lot of things that are exhausting your reserves. There's a lot of things that you've been trying to deal with by pushing against it. I feel like some of you could be getting more and more stressed out. And you try to find a solution by resorting to your old sort of habits and behaviors that used to get you out of difficult situations in the past. But I feel like it's not really working out like the way you want it to. I feel like for some of you, you are in the process of pursuing a standard of happiness that is very high but it is something that you deserve and you have this vision for the future with a particular individual that you want to spend your life with so i also see from the cards that for some of you you want to get married to this individual you want to have children you want to have your happiness and that's all wonderful but I feel like there's something that is either making you very paranoid, worried, or skeptical on whether or not you can have that in this situation. So that worry, that doubt, that fear, that anxiety, it's there in the back of your mind. It's something you can't ignore. It's something that, you know, it really weighs you down. It makes you feel exhausted. It makes you feel like... You know, sometimes you can't handle it, but then you're reminded of the sweet joy of what it would be like, you know, of actually having this person. Because for some of you, this is a type of romance that you can't go in search of, you know. It comes to you when the time is right. And here you are presented with this wonderful love. However, there is this barrier, this sort of obstacle standing in front of you that is preventing you from having it. And it's right there, but you can't quite grab hold of it. And that's not something that you really, you know, want to deal with when you just want to enjoy being in love and enjoy the feeling of holding the person that you love and caring for them and being with them intimately. So what I sense from the cards is there are plans. There are plans that are being made, plans that you may have made already, you know. 
but it gives you stress, it gives you worry. Because inside of your mind, you're just waiting and wanting that breakthrough, or perhaps this individual reaching out to you, communicating to you, opening up their heart and letting you know what they feel for you. And it's there, you know, you know that they feel this way and you know that it's being reciprocated, but why is it taking so long? And why does it have to be so very stressful? Those are some of the things that are going on in your love life right now. Before I forget, it's important for you guys to not only watch your sun sign, but to check out your moon, rising and Venus. Videos are all available on this channel. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at thetarotempress.com. So let's begin clarifying your readings. So let's see. Okay, very difficult, difficult energies. And what I'm seeing is you are thinking about getting back together with this person. You've learned from previous experiences. You've taken that wisdom and you want to apply it. I feel like for some of you, you're dealing with an individual that may have walked away or perhaps you walked away, but it's a complicated situation where there was a departure of some sort. And I feel like this person may have went quiet on you. They might have been quiet for a certain period of time. And what I'm picking up here is grief. Someone was feeling grief and stress. And then there was thoughts of the past as well as, you know, the desire to get things moving again and that stress of actually getting things moving again was far more stressful than anything else because not only do you want to like kickstart the engine of this love story again you know you are inundated with these memories of the past and remembering all those joyous times that brought the two of you together so it gets even more difficult to deal with, okay? So I feel like for some of you, you're very, very focused on what you want to achieve in the situation. And you don't want to let go of the vision. You don't want to let go of the goal, the hope, you know, the joy. It's something that you have attached yourself to because it's far more wonderful than anything else you've experienced in the past. So let's see. I feel like someone is being quiet and I feel like the sleepless nights, someone is suffering, someone is suffering a lot and not able to truly Express it, get it off their chest. Someone's emotions are blocked. Someone is not opening up emotionally, but they do love you, they do care about you based on this tarot card here. This person loves you very, very much, okay? They love you very, very much. These cards in itself tell me that they're very hopeful for the future, but there's a blockage inside of them. And they don't want to explore these feelings because there's fears and there's other things that are going far deeper into their psychology, preventing them from really looking at this, you know, 
from an optimistic point of view because there's elements that are making them either feel very pessimistic or feel afraid of dealing with, with when it comes to this particular situation. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these tarot cards and the Elite Tarot Society as well as the single extended reading. You can find the links in the description box below and if you want a personal reading you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.